Hey guys, Engineer Wannabe here, and uh, today we're going to be having a special video uh, because my wife is joining me today. Uh, so, we're just going to be uh, discussing a couple of watches in the collection and uh, um, just random, random talks. So, we'll start with the wristwatch check. I'm not wearing anything. I was wearing this Grand Seiko SBGE 211. I took it off for the uh, the sake of this video. So uh, Jenna is wearing Casio. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna is wearing a Casio B640 rose gold. It's not actual rose gold. Uh, <laughs> it's a, a vintage vintage series uh, Casio. Um, very utilitarian. It's got a lot of functions, and she uses it more than. Uh, the smartwatch she used to have. Anyway, Jenna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with what you think is the most expensive watch here. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> okay, no. Seriously? Th that's your choice? Or? Yes. Really? Yeah. You're joking. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, well, I. I talk incessantly about watches, so I didn't <laughs> expect her to pick this guy. This is the Laurier Neptune. Wow, that is a stunning endorsement for this micro brand. <laughs> <laughs> a Laurier Neptune. Um, it has a acrylic crystal, uh, an aluminium aluminum bezel, 120 click. Uh, stainless steel. <laughs> so just so you know, you picked it over two Grand Seikos <laughs> and an Omega. Omega. I didn't recognize the name. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's order them up. So you think this is the most expensive? <laughs> okay, what's what's after this? Let's go with the middle one. <laughs> middle one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> The Grand Seiko SBGM uh, 221. I can't can't fault you for picking that one. It's a very nice watch. Um, sapphire crystal, uh, GMT function, so you can track a second time zone. Mm -hmm. Very handy. <laughs> yes, not so much for us, <laughs> especially not now. Okay, so let's move these over. You've got to pick from these two. So you have the Laurier Neptune. That's the most expensive. <laughs> Grand Seiko SBGM 221. Second. Ah. Okay, what's third? Uh, the other Grand Seiko. The other Grand Seiko. Okay, so the third pick was the Grand Seiko SBGE 211G. This uh, has the same case as the Snowflake, as I uh, very handily found out later on. A pretty thick case. Uh, GMT function as well. But this has a spring drive movement, uh, which I'm sure Jenna does not remember what that means. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is third most expensive, and that leaves us with the last one. So it leaves us with the Omega Speedmaster first, Omega in space. Would be the fourth, fourth most expensive 1861 manual wine movement. So, I let's see, this is pretty uh, backwards. <laughs> In reality, the most expensive one retail price is this guy the Grand Seiko SBGE. 211G with the spring drive movement. The retail price is 6700 <laughs> Canadian dollars. 6700 Canadian dollars. Boy. <laughs> okay, so you have a gauge now. Mm -hmm. That's the most expensive? That is the most expensive. Okay. Okay, so the second most expensive is the Omega Speedmaster, which you picked as last. <laughs> the cheapest one. Because <laughs> it does look kind of cheap. <laughs> um, 
And would you want to guess the retail price on this guy? Forty-five hundred. No. <laughs> it is fifty-nine fifty Canadian. It's pretty close to this guy. Third most expensive is Grand Seiko SBG M two two one. Retail price in Canadian is five thousand. Oh, close. It's fifty four hundred Canadian. It's actually <laughs> what I would call the best value Grand Seiko. Because <laughs> you get a, a really nice automatic movement, and um, it's really well finished. You could get a quartz Grand Seiko for twenty seven hundred dollars. That's crazy. <laughs> and this is the least expensive. Any guesses? So it's probably a lot cheaper since your reaction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so we had a bit of a, a interruption, children-wise, um, but you picked this as the the most expensive <laughs> one, and this is four hundred U.S. dollars. I mm -hmm. bought it for three hundred Canadian. So uh, decimal place off. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the cheapest one. Delorean and Neptune, but that's that's good. Okay, so for the next question, I'm gonna ask which one is your favorite? The first Grand Seiko. This one? Yeah. What like the red. <laughs> <laughs> I, of course, would pick this guy. <laughs> the Grand Seiko SBG M221. But I think we're a little backwards in that way. Jenna likes the uh, the sporty black, all black kind of watches, which I do too, but I, I prefer more elegant cream dialed or white dialed pieces like the Snowflake or... What do you think of this guy? The Speedmaster. It has too many lines on it. Too busy. <laughs> too busy. <laughs> too busy for her liking. Okay. And this guy, I know you like him because it's blue. Mm -hmm. I like that one. So this would be second, I'm guessing. Yep. And third or fourth? Speedy versus the GMT Grand Seiko. Uh, the other Grand Seiko would be last. This would be last. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. So would you pick a bracelet or a strap? Strap. Strap. Yep. Now, if you were picking a strap, would you pick leather or would you pick nylon? Probably nylon. Nylon? Yeah. Because. Yeah, that really nice black and gray nylon one. <laughs> <laughs> black and gray. She's talking about the uh, the Bond the NATO strap. That is her favorite. So, yeah, like I said, we're kind of backwards here. <laughs> uh, usually, guys like the, the sporty. Um, black big watches and, and girls like the white dial delicate pretty pieces <laughs> um, but I guess our tastes change well guys that was just a really quick video um, maybe an introductory video we may have a couple more of these with uh, with Jenna participating I uh, just thought it might be something fun to do um, while uh, I don't know everyone else is in quarantine. I'm, I'm not in quarantine. Uh, I still have to go to work but hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, maybe we'll do another one. All right take care. Bye. 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 <laughs>